Welcome to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Daily Truths. I have a question. Can demon possession happen to people today? Well, <laughs> let's answer that question. Now, remember, we're in Matthew chapter 8. Two men were possessed by demons. The demons declared Jesus to be the Son of God, and they should have done that because they know that Jesus made them sometime during the six days of creation, right? And then they rebelled against God, rebelled against Jesus, were cast out of heaven, inhabited earth, inhabited human bodies when they were invited to come in and occupy human bodies. And so Jesus is walking in this area. They ask permission to go into these pigs. They go into the pigs. Now listen to what happened here. We pick it up in verse 32 of Matthew chapter 8. And Jesus said to them, go. So they came out and went into the pigs, and behold, the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea and drowned in the waters. The herdsmen fled, and going into the city, they told everything, especially what had happened to the demon-possessed men. And behold, all the city came out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, they begged him to leave their region. Why in the world did they beg Jesus to leave their region? Now, you got to think about this. These herdsmen wit witness this, and Mark tells us there were 2,000 pigs that ran down the embankment into the water. Well, that was a livelihood for these herdsmen. They told the owner, I'm sure the owner wasn't very happy that uh, he had faced economic ruin as a result of his pigs running into the water and drowning. I'm sure people were frightened when they saw what had happened, and they were mesmerized and amazed what had happened. And so because of the economic downfall of what was going to happen as Jesus continued to do this, and maybe out of fear, these people asked God to leave the region. And there is no indication in the Bible that Jesus ever returned to this region because they asked Jesus, they asked God, God incarnate, to leave their area, and he never returned. Hmm. Now, I asked a question at the beginning of this podcast. Does demon possession still happen today? And I can answer without reservation, absolutely, unequivocally, yes. I've seen it happen in my own ministry. But in every case, individuals ask demons or Satan to occupy their heart and life. And so that begs the question, can it happen to believers that a demon would come in and possess a believer? Absolutely, without reservation, no, that can't happen. Why? Because Jesus Christ dwells there. They're baptized children of God. They believe in Jesus. A heart can't have two different occupants, Satan or a demon, and Jesus himself. The Bible says, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, it's not I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life I live now, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation, the Bible says. So when a person becomes a believer in Christ, when they've repented of their sin and put their trust in Jesus or been baptized as a child of God, Jesus Christ comes and dwells within their heart. This is what the explanation of the second article of the Apostles' Creed says, that Jesus Christ, true God, begotten of the Father from all eternity and also a true man, born of the Virgin Mary, is my Lord, listen to this, who has redeemed me, a lost and condemned creature, purchased and won me from all sins, from death and from the power of the devil, not with gold or silver, but with his holy, precious blood and his innocent suffering and death. So we've been brought back, bought back, redeemed, saved, uh, forgiven with Jesus Christ living inside of us as believers in Jesus Christ. So to answer the question, can demons occupy people? Yes, but it only happens when Christ is not dwelling there and they personally invite demons to come into their life. Otherwise, if you're a child of God, if you're a believer in Jesus, no worries. You don't have to think about this. You're a child of God. You're destined for heaven. You're a believer in Christ. Your sins are forgiven. You're at peace with God. You're declared innocent in the sight of God, not guilty in the sight of God, all because of what Jesus has done. So bask in that. Rejoice in that. Celebrate that. Share that. And just live out your faith from day to day, knowing that what happened in the New Testament, when these two guys were possessed by these demons, can't happen to you. Just celebrate who you are in Christ today and have a wonderful day 
in your walk with him. And that is today's Daily Truth. Have a great day in Jesus Christ. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like, comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth.